What's up Jikis, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be doing a should you buy the Terrapin. I know a lot of you don't like this ship because of it's a quote unquote paperweight, but actually it's a really great ship, has a lot of usability and it's going to be very important later on down the track for a lot of vessels. So don't forget the T16000 giveaway, hashtag sticks. If you want more entries, become a channel member or patron. Also don't forget to join our Discord, that would be really great. We're nearly halfway to being able to get partnered by Discord, so check out the links in the description, discount codes, the whole nine yards and we're going to get straight into it. So obviously the Terrapin is a small scout vessel so they've obviously in the Q&A for the Odyssey as well you they've mentioned that you can take one of these out into the hangar and use the mining out well not the mining but the scanning capabilities of this vessel for the Odyssey since you know the Odyssey scanning array isn't as good as the Terrapin and you can use the Terrapin to go scanning forward for you know different um, exploration abilities and you can do, go and use it for finding rocks and asteroids to mine for quantanium and whatnot so it has a lot of uses obviously it's a small aircraft it has a crew of one to two it doesn't have any cargo space at all and will make this ship in-game cost is two million five hundred sixty eight thousand one hundred dollars the standalone price is 220 the war bond is 195 the length of it is 19 and a half meters long with a 14 and a half meter beam a six meter height a combat speed of 150 57 ms a max speed of 1204 ms so that's insane a mass of 166,850 so obviously this ship is designed to go out into uh obviously enemy space as well go spy on enemies and to get the locations and any information that you may need to scout out for before you go and send your fleet in there and you know go into battle more or, uh, more or less so this ship also has a cooling mechanism so due to the terrapin's thick armor however the ship has an if inefficient capacity to vent its heat to vent this excess heat the armor panels can be retracted a mechanic that has been described as to come up for air so obviously going into that it's not really a massive thing at the moment but it will be later on down the track so the terrapin is used by the ueen for overwatch long endurance picket and to add re reconnaissance capabilities to the fleet as well as extended the navy's ability to provide a patrol presence to border systems that couldn't be allocated capital ships or large fighter garrisons for defense it is a favored explorer ship among uee military veterans who opt to continue flying after their service, many of them have, having already come to know its reliability, ease of repair and never say die attitude. As secondary roles, it is said that the Terrapin can be used for both search and rescue and as a trop, uh, troop transport. So the ship itself is great. It has a lot of functionality in terms of scanning arrays. Now obviously the scanning in game is pretty much subpar everything's pretty much the same nothing's really um any different at the moment but once they bring that sort of functionality into the game and there's that difference it's not gonna you know no ship's gonna be the same and people are gonna actually i would say favor some ships more than others when it comes to this sort of functionality and gameplay so what type of signature does this ship give off? So the medium sized component has the potential to create a large signature for a small ship. In making it heavily armored, the ship just doesn't have the capacity to vent its heat as I've mentioned before. The revolutionary reaction retracting armor allows the panels to lift apart, weakening the ship but improving venting, allowing players to effectively come up for air. So um, it's, you know, <laughs> Its armor is really good. I've actually been shot at by three size fives off of a, uh, uh, what is it, a 600i, and it actually was, <laughs> it stood up to it like amazingly well. So going over the components as well, it has one size one radar, a one size two, one size one computer, sorry, one size two power plant, one, three size one coolers, one size two shield generators on its propulsion. It has two size one fuel intakes, two size one fuel tanks, one size one QT drive, one size one jump drive, one size one QT fuel tank for your weaponry. There's not a lot there. You have one size three no just turret and you have a one size three support scanner so like i said this ship doesn't have a lot going on now in terms of speaking about buying it i wouldn't go out and just buy it willy-nilly you can buy it in game it is 2.5 million uec so if you really do need it uh go buy it in game you can 
obviously spend the money and get a good CCU chain going to this so you don't have to spend as much as what you would normally have to spend but it is there as an option so going around this ship it's you know it, it says there's there's a literally a question here says how does it compare to the freelancer do so the the terrapin is tough as boots it's designed to be able to handle any uh, like eventuality in the dark unknown of space from a military perspective it's also extremely usable as a recon ship able to survey fleet movements and sustain a lot of direct fire it have if discovered so the terrapin's secondary use is a way of insert and rescue people and it's just i think this ship's going to have a massive use in pyro and all these sort of hostile systems along with other orgs as well people are going to be spying on uh, spying on other orgs now whether or not you like this ship it's definitely going to have a major role in the game and i think those people who don't like it i know there's a few of you out there let me know down in the comments but the users who don't like this ship are definitely going to have that time where it's spying on you and you just you're going to hate it it's just going to feel like a little like a little leech or a little bugger it's just annoying you some sort of parasite and i think a lot of people who don't like this are going to need and be pressured to use this later on down the track when it comes to be able to use its full functionality and just have that full gameplay style that it is supposed to have but uh yeah it's completely up to you um, if you had the use for this ship, I would definitely suggest thinking about, you know, acquiring one. Maybe someone in your fleet or your, your friends or your org already has one, so you might not have to worry about it. But I would definitely get in one and just get a feel for it and see what it's all about and whether or not you really do need one. Because, like I said, a lot of people are going to have this ship and it's just going to have so much usability in terms of scanning down the track. So think about it. If you want it, get it. If you don't, well then you don't get it. If you've got the money for it and you already intend to put a lot into it, then, you know, it's a no-brainer for those who have the Gardas probably already have one and Praetorian. But it's been barren. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the verse.